thing I like the most about the VPod Pro is its simplistic and intuitive interface. The time it takes to watch this video is all you're going to need to learn how to go out and take data. This is the VPod Pro Smart Meter Advantage. So here we have my VPod Pro. And um, let's start by, I guess, let's look at the tough rubber jacket on the outside. Uh, this is where the batteries go. The unit accepts two 18650 lithium batteries, rechargeable. Here is our port for the LIMO for our sensor. This is a rubber cover for the USB-C connector. That's for transferring data. In the box, we have our sensor. This is the A52-IR. This is the infrared port right there. This is a magnetic, right? Magnetic tip on the sensor. There's a cable, looks to be about three meters coiled. Our USB connector brings us from our device to our computer. And um, USB thumb with utility software, a few other software packages to help in processing the data, uh, as well as the soft copy of the user manual. Also, this is your stinger. And the stinger goes on to the sensor for those hard to reach places. On the, the VPod Pro, we have various modes. This one being the meter mode, the review mode, root mode, and setup mode. In setup mode, this is where we choose our engineering units. You see at the top here, uh, vibration unit type. All I do is hit the OK button, it drops down options for accelerometer, velocity, or displacement. So we're going to stay with the velocity. I just hit OK again. Hit the down button, and now it's vibration units. Well, I've got mils per second, millimeters per second, centimeters per second, inches, meters, so on. Press OK. I'm going to stay in millimeters. Next, vibration detection. RMS, peak, peak to peak. Bearing unit. G's or millimeters per second squared. Temperature unit, we like Celsius. However, we could change this to Fahrenheit. Spectrum, X axis. And we can go CPM or Hertz. When we're ready, push save. After our unit setup, we have our measure setup. So we select measure setup, click OK. Top one that we have here is overall band. It's at this moment set to 10 hertz to 1 kilohertz. That can be changed 3 hertz to 1 kilohertz, 5 hertz to 1 kilohertz, 10 hertz to 1 kilohertz, 10 hertz to 10 kilohertz. Below that, overall alarm and true peak alarm. Uh, as you notice here, it says sensitivity. That is the actual sensitivity of this sensor. I've already got this device, which is a little Bluetooth speaker. I already have it hooked up here. It's called the Clarity 3, and it's indicating that it is connected. Now we'll go back to our measure meter mode. I'm just going to click measure and hold this up again so you can hear. Acquiring data. That's the sound of this fan over here that I've got taking uh, data with the, 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 the vibration sensor. It allows you to be able to hear, you might have a Bluetooth headset, and you want to hear the actual signal itself. Because we've defined all of our parameters in, um, in the setup mode, uh, we're now going to move back to meter mode. So this is the point at which maybe someone was just going to go out and attach uh, the magnetic sensor to a red dot on a rotating machine somewhere. At that point, he's turned it on, and really all he needs to do now is press measure. It's acquiring data. It's 
playing the sound. And it's showing a reading. We're sort of a yellow on here, so it wouldn't surprise me if there's issues with this fan. It is an old fan. The bearings seem okay because it's green. It's giving us yellow, green, and a temperature of 27.9. What I'm going to do just for the heck of it here, I'm going to take the sensor off. I've got a lighter. Let's heat this up a little. Okay. Then we're going to put the sensor back on. Let's push measure again. There's our sound. The temperature now has gone up, as you can see, to 35. It's just nice to have that extra feature of the temperature reading from the sensor because it's giving you a little more information when it comes to bearing condition. Because of the true peak capability of the software that runs on this device, it's curious to note, for example, I may want to be looking for a knocking in the bearings. Well, let's just push this measure button and tap this while it's taking a reading. Let's see what happens. So there you go. Now we're getting an alert on our bearings. And that is as a direct result of my tapping on the fan. A knocking bearing, a, a, some kind of problem within the bearings may be indicated easily with this device and give the operator an immediate state. If you have purchased the additional software on this unit that allows for spectrum, I've now taken my data. All I need to do now is push the OK button and now I've got all my spectrum data. I can cycle through as I move this button. It's moving to different points up to point 10. There we go, in the spectrum. Very easy to use. Push OK again and I'm back into my meter mode. Let's say now I want this data and I want to save this data. I hit this scroll down key till I get to save. Press OK. Perhaps I want to identify that, that machine by, by adding a note. So I'm going to add a note. Let's, uh, let's call it point 0.2. Uh, perhaps I also want to take a photograph of the machine. Get a picture. There go. It's just a point and shoot like anything. Press OK. Scroll down to save. Press OK. I have now taken data. Um, I have identified the machine by, by a label within this, this device. And I have taken a photograph to accompany that reading. Now I, I have data and I've come back to the shop at the end of the day. And I want to show particularly maybe that last one that had some bearing issues and some issues overall. And I want to show it to someone else. Well, I toggle modes till I get to review mode. In review mode, I go to my point two that I just took, press OK. There's my data. All right, I hit OK again, and my spectrum's going to come up. Everything very easy to use. The interface is intuitive. There's my picture. And I'm back into review mode. Switch back, go back out, and take more readings. The VPOD Pro value proposition provides for not only your root-based data acquisition needs, but also first response by less experienced staff who are already on site. It's for that reason the smart meter is actually a smart choice.